to the show <laughs> first one after our new year's extravaganza 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 so welcome to the show today we are celebrating some award winning and award nominated songs so whether they be grammys or oscars or tonys yeah all, all of them. the all songs of them. and if you've never been to the show before i'm diana o'brien i'm becky o'brien and together we are the, the o'brien, o'brien sisters, sisters. We will visit Andrew over in Comment Corner, who was giving you a wonderful guitar solo there. You just <laughs> didn't see it. guitar. <laughs> um, so if you're new to the show, tell us where you're watching from, who you are, which songs you might like. Hopefully, maybe we've got something that you like, maybe some that you've heard before, maybe some that you haven't heard before. Uh, but let us know who you are. And don't forget, all you got to do, boys and girls, to enjoy a free hour of entertainment is please share the show. If you haven't already, just press that share button. So all your friends and family can watch too. She is right. Now, unbelievably, that last song spent 16 weeks in the UK charts. I don't, I don't know how, it's, how it played over in the US. Maybe someone over there can let us know. But it wasn't the winner in 1991. No. The winner actually was... Tale as old as time. Was it? Yes. yes. 
<laughs> Unbelievable, I know. So this next one was a Grammy winner in 1961, and this was a request from the lovely Charlie. Yeah, my Becky's Charlie. 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 Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman I ever seen. I guess if you said so, I'd have to back my things and go. That's right. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What do you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Don't you treat me this way Cause I'll be back on my feet someday I don't care if you do Cause it's understood You ain't got no money You just ain't no good Well I guess if you say so I have to pack my things and go, go, go right. Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more What you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't, don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't, don't you come back no more. 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 I wonder if he picked that one. Because of his big brother. Or because he doesn't want us to come back anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Awkward, awkward conversation with my son later, yes. I think. <laughs> but we want you to come back all the time. Yes. Because we love having you here. We do. And speaking of you guys, let's see who is online. Who's here today? <laughs> I didn't realise that had its own song. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to... Uh, thank you for joining us and welcome to tonight's show, as they said. First one, 2022. Um, ooh. <clears throat> Look at that. I'm whacking my own microphone. Oh. Right. So good evening to all of our lovely, wonderful, usual suspects. Good evening, Joe. Um, good evening, Candace, uh, out there in North Carolina. Ian Smythe said, can we have some Golden Raspberry Award winners as well, please? <laughs> Maybe that's I'm, a whole new show in its, on its own right. <laughs> I'm sure that can be arranged. Hang on, let me go back to the beginning. Um, hello, Jane. Um, right. Uh, lovely, great song to start with. That's from Teresa. Um, and um, Maria Crispin said, great opening song, ladies. Thank you. You didn't want to give your... Viewers, the um, uh, the, the twelve inch outro. extended version. <laughs> Andrew, I haven't said a word. No, you're being very good. That well was the done. one with the long. I was going to say you keep it? it up, and then it, I thought that's going to descend, isn't it? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. So that was, um, as you said, sixteen weeks. So what? What did it knock off? Number one. What oh. was number one before it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hmm. What National was Express. It? No. Ninety one. Ninety one. Give me a clue. It was Jason Donovan. <gasps> Too many broken no. oh, hearts in say. the world. Nope. Um, that's the only one I can think of. Do you know Sorry, viewers? Jason Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> it was one about a letter that you sang. I don't know what that was. What was that one? I vaguely remember. No, it was um, Any Dream Will Do. Oh. Um, it was one that. And what knocked um, Brian Adams off the number one spot? <laughs> Another clue, please. Um, Irish band. Was it Bewitched? No, no that's too like? early. <laughs> too early for Bewitched. Um... Was it the cause? No. Cranberry zombie? <laughs> no. No. We don't know. You two. Oh, you two. Me too. You two, the fly. <laughs> you two. You <laughs> two. Right. Um. Sorry, I was just being really boring there. Yeah, um, no change. <laughs> Okay, um, Barry said, I'm sure somewhere in the world this is still number one. I reckon he's right I'm there. I'm sure, yeah. Probably. I reckon he's right. Um, lovely opening, that's from um, Jean Alexander. Um, good evening to Emma Wells. She said she loves this song. That's um, the 
Brian Adams song. 30 this year, this year 2022, will be 31 years old. Oh, no. God. Which is all very old. <laughs> Crazy. I know. What a classic. Great opener, dears. Thanks. Looking fabulous as always. Round Thank the applause you. from Jean. Um, and Jane said, great opening number. Uh, Happy New Year from Carol Cassidy. Um, Happy New Year. A great first song on the way to a night shift. OK, Carol, hope the uh, oh, night shift, shift goes and well. And don't forget, for anyone who can't watch live live, like right now, Sunday at 6pm, uh, you can come back onto Facebook and revisit the shows or they do get uploaded to YouTube, the Dino O'Brien ch- uh, channel. So you can watch them there too. Yes. In HD. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See um, every pore. We're, we're working on seeing if we can get it in 4K. But that's, uh, that's, that's the next stage. These are just numbers and letters to me, folks. I don't know what he means. <laughs> and Joe said, too jazzy. He loves this one. You sound great, dears. Hitler Ojak. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Um, and uh, that's all I have on my computer. I think, like, um, this on the producer studio, lots of the comments just disappear. So there may be some more over here. I will investigate and we'll okay. come back later. Yes. Well, I'm going to take a swig of this while you introduce. Ah. So this one takes us way back to 1944. This was the winner of which award? This was an uh, Oscar, so an Academy oh. Award. And Dinah loves this song. I actually don't really like this song oh, because it gets stuck in my head like an earworm. But I do like the artist who sang this song. Your favourite? My favourite male artist, okay. Mr Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, or be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny and his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak And by the way, if you hate to go to school, which he does You may grow up to be a mule Or would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a pig A pig is an animal with dirt on her face Her shoes are a terrible disgrace her no man is when she eats her food She's fat and lazy and extremely rude And maybe you don't care for feather or a fig You may grow up to be a pig Or would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a fish A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook He can't read his name or write a book To fool the people is his only thought And though he's slippery, he still gets caught But then if that is the life that you wish You may grow up to be a fish And all the monkeys on in the zoo Every day you meet quite a few So you see it's all up to you You can be better than you are You could be swinging on a star I could sense you (gasps) out there. I was out having a nice cup of tea reading the comments and I heard you singing about the pig and I thought, why do I feel giggling (laughs) going on? There was some sign language which came from, what were you trying to say? (laughs) I was just singing mm-hmm. one she more song, me. then I'm oh, on. Is that, is that right? Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. So, staying in the 40s, yes. this one was nominated right. for the Academy Award in 1941. But this Just one, if win. the one about the pig was me, the one about the elephant oh, yeah. is definitely dying. Oh, it is me, yes. <laughs> I will bid you adieu. <laughs> From Dumbo. Close to my heart 
never to part, baby of mine. Little one, when you play, pay no heed what they say. Sparkle and shine, never a tear, baby of mine. If they knew all about you, they'd end up loving you too. All those same people who scold you. What they'd give just for the right to hold you from your head down to your toes. You're not much, goodness knows, but you're so precious to me, sweet as can be. Baby of mine. Oh, sad one. a tear to your eye. And then you've got to be careful of your elephant oh, eyelashes. Elephant eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> to be careful, they might melt off. <laughs> well, they're wet, they're uh, they'll just we'll catch. Just... <laughs> catch all the teardrops. Put your entire face down. <laughs> Thank you very much. You don't Love. need anything to do that. Loving husband there. <laughs> I'm going to ignore these two. Why? I'm just going to say these two. Oh. Um, I would like to say a huge thank you, and we all would actually, to all of those who did tune in on New Year's Eve, all of those who sent Lots and lots of stars. Uh, we broke a record yes, you were for us. Amazing. You were amazing. And thank you to those who also sent tips. They are very much appreciated. They do get reinvested back into the show. There's no obligation. All you have to do, we it, we insist that you do this, is share the show. That is free. Anything else is an absolute bonus to us. But please share the show because it does help us out. And you just spread some, what I would like to think is pretty good music to your friends and family. <laughs> Or oh, good insults, if nothing else. Yes, there was lots not of not to them, no, to no, each other. to each other. We won't insult you. So we're going we to haven't take... met you yet. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll insult you. We're going to take you back to a fabulous year. Some stellar things were born in this year, myself <sighs> included. Um, Nineteen eighty-six, and this was. I didn't our... realise you were that young. I am um, just a wee baby. Just don't look that young. Uh, I think this year was overrated myself, but. Uh, so this was actually <laughs> our first ever song duet, wasn't it? It was. Well, first ever song duet on a on real stage, big stage. Yeah. Well, I mean, we sang a lot together before this, but this was our first on stage duet. And Mr. Andrew is going to be on keys for us. Yes. Are, Are you, you ready? ready? <laughs> that didn't sound like a convincing <laughs> yet. So this was only a nomination in 1986, and the winner was Take My Breath Away from Top Gun. But this is somewhere out there from an American tale. Okay. Oh. Oh, I just did all my chat. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Take your time, dear.
in that big somewhere out there. And even though I know how very far apart we are, it helps to think we might be wishing on that same bright star. And when the night wind starts to sing her lonesome lullaby, it helps to think we're sleeping underneath that same big sky. Somewhere out there, if love can see us through, then we'll be together somewhere out there. apart we are it helps to think we might be wishing on that same bright star and when the night wind starts to sing her lonesome lullaby it helps to think we're dreaming underneath that same big sky somewhere Andrew. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. <laughs> thank you, Mr. James Horner for writing. <laughs> thank you, Mr. James yes. Horner. And I'd like to thank my mother. <laughs> yes. I'd like to thank my mother. I'd like to thank God. <laughs> so we're going to visit you to see what... We don't give you any any moments to move I, from one area to the next. No. <clears throat> no. Testing your was, skills. <laughs> was not much to test there, no. is there, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to agree. I know. In fact, norm, norm, <laughs> normally you don't. Um, she right. really wants to. Oh, it, yes, right. Okay. Um, I just got to scroll back. Thank you to um, Jane Collins. Right. So my, my comments only go back a certain distance, a certain distance, certain uh, amount of comments. Thank you to Jane who sent you hundred stars. That's oh, thank so you kind. Very much. Um, and uh, lovely Becky, beautiful. That was for um, baby mine. Oh, thank um, you. So beautiful, Becky from Jane. Thank you. And that was Joe, by the way, who said lovely Becky. Um, uh, nicely done, Becky. So nicely done from Candace. Thank Round of you. applause from, from Jane Collins. Loving this, Becky. That's from Jean Cunnington. Um, Mikey Webster said, Sorry I'm so late. As Blanche from Golden Girls say, uh, would say, better late than pregnant. <laughs> 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 Becky. <laughs> How Mikey, rude. I'm glad you're here. And I'm sort of glad that you're late in a way because... You we wanted us. To, we're glad you're not pregnant. No, no, no. <laughs> because you wanted us to open this show with Um Papa, which we didn't. We will open another show with Um Papa, and that one. Make sure you're right on time. Ah, yes. Promises, promises. I Mikey, feel like a right? musical show is needed. We've not done a musicals one we for haven't. a while. Was that next week then? Well, yeah. next week we're going <laughs> right. to open with Um Papa, and we'll have some musicals. <laughs> this is how we plan these things now. out, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, grab that dough. That was um, Joe Miller in response to as Blanche was. Um, oh, <laughs> Blanche, yeah. Uh, right. Um, Emma said, "Ah, oh, brings back memories." Um, d don't think your ending position will work anymore. Uh, no, no, Becky, you'll have to put her head on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? Yeah, yeah. well, because I was oh shorter. Goodness. Yes, it was a long time ago when Dinah was much smaller. I was than only me. six. <laughs> was that how old you were? Yeah. My God, worked out all my own harmonies and everything. 
<laughs> when you used to be able to sing. When I was good. I knew you were going to say that. I thought I'll get it out first. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, wonderful song, Poor Five. Oh, that's from Paul Watson. I know. Um, but he found his way home. He did. Yes, he did. Um, release the secret. Is that from that's that film? Release, release the, the secret, secret weapon. weapon. Um, <laughs> Um, we were there till the end is. Um, Mikey Webster said, I couldn't believe how late the show went on till <laughs> on New Year's. My, we all had problems believing this. Um, I thought I'd missed the huge climax. Um, but thankfully, I was able to be there right at the end. It's, as long as you're there for the... Um, for the end, that's important. Yeah. We're in it for the long haul. Beautiful song, ladies. Uh, brings <laughs> tears. That's from Candice. Uh, Candice sent you some stars. Thank as well. you so Thank much. You. Um, beautiful and I hope you're doing well. I'm resting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Sending give us an update. Love. Give us an update. Um, beautiful Dinah and Becky from Maria Crispin. Uh, this you. sounds amazing from Jean. Um, lovely from Stuart Locke. Lovely ladies from Leslie Hanscom. And more stars oh, from thank Mikey. You. Thank you, Mikey. Uh, Martin Wilson has said, I love this. Somewhere out there brings back some memories. It does for me too. I mean, I, gosh, it's going to show my or our, <laughs> our age gap, isn't it? It was one of the songs that we had to study. I was our first, I can't remember whenever it was. Which year did it come out? 86. 86. So GCSE. So first year of GCSE. First year of GCSE. No, I was in the third year okay. at the time when it came out. So, um, third, yeah. Yeah, just before GCSEs. And it was one of the ones that um, our music teacher, our beloved music teacher, Ian Clayton, made us sort of break down and analyse. <laughs> because he liked the song. And what better reason? Um, stunning ladies I love this song Beautiful Harmonies that's from Joe Beautiful Thank from you. Barry Tanner so lovely from Jean so that was a winner I think uh, the well, American well they didn't think they so didn't the think Oscars. so in, no but we think we so. think so and we think you think so um, Joe said oh yes he needs a musical week okay Joe no problem next Sunday and Mikey said I will make sure he. I'll make sure I come early for um papa good stuff Mikey you're allowed to stay we like you <laughs> says it it's okay when I say it, I'm naughty I don't know I don't know I got double standards clearly <laughs> <laughs> low standards looking over okay, there <laughs> yeah, wait, I was waiting for that <laughs> okay so before we have any arguments uh, I'm going to take the next one mm-hmm. one of my favorite songs and artists and actually I would like I wanted to uh, include this song because unfortunately yesterday Marilyn Bergman who was a composer or co-composer on this song she passed away and um, so it's a, my little tri- tribute to them and again this wasn't a winner but no this year was particularly good so sometimes when of- you look at the list the nominations are definitely better than the songs yeah. that win although this year it was 1983 and there were lots of good songs so it could have been any of them the winner was actually Flash dance, what a feeling. But this one is my winner. This is <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? Oh, 
please forgive me, try to understand me. Papa, don't you know I had no choice? Can you hear me praying, everything I'm saying, even though the night is filled with voices? I remember everything you taught me, every book I ever read. And all the words in all the books help me to face what lies ahead. The trees are so much taller, and I feel so much smaller. The moon is twice as lonely, and the stars are half as bright. Papa, how I love you. How I need you, Papa. How I miss you, kissing me. Song too, and I, and love, I love that, that film. Oh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've never really paid attention to that song before. It's a bit heartbreaking, really. It yeah. is. Hmm. I have well, to pay you... attention to these things more now. You haven't watched the film yet, have you? Y- Yentl. No. Oh, it's really, it's good. really good. Really, one of her good. finest ones, and she directed it. Oh. Miss Barbara Streisand. Miss Streisand. Miss Streisand. Um, what's next? A next one is 1984 nomination. Ooh. But what Not won winner. that year? I just called to say I love you. Do, 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 do. I just called <laughs> to say how much I care. I really do. Oh, very good. <laughs> that is an absolute tune. But this one is also an absolute tune. So a good year for Oscar nominations. Again? Tune. Absolutely. <laughs> what I'm doing. Loser, it's what you are. Um, <laughs> This song was written by uh, who was it written by, Mr. Andrew? By Mr. Philip Collins. It ah. was originally performed by Mr. Philip Collins, and then later covered by Mariah Carey and Mariah Carey and Westlife. Mm-hmm. And we're going to put our little treatment on it now. Yay! And I just let you walk away Just let you leave without a trace When I stand here taking every breath with you Ooh, You're the only one who really knew me at all How can you just walk away from me When all I can do is watch you leave Cause we shared the laughter and the pain We even shared the tears You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a look at me now Cause there's just an empty space There's nothing left to remind me just the memory of your face take a look at me now when there's just an empty space and you coming back to me is against the odds and that's what i've got to face I wish I could just make you turn around Turn around and see me cry There's so much I need to say to you So many reasons why You're the only one who 
really knew me at all So take a look at me now There's just an empty space There's nothing left here to remind me Just the memory of your face Take a look at me now there's just an empty space But to wait for you is all I can do And that's what I gotta face Take a good look at me now Cause I'll still be standing here You coming back to me is against all odds That's a chance I've gotta take Take a look at me now Take a look at me now That is a good song. Very good. Why didn't it Much win? Much underrated, I think. Yes. I like it. Yeah. Do you like it? Do you like it? I like it. She likes it. Do you like it, Andrew, in the Loves corner? <laughs> Let's come to you, shall I, we? Yes, I would like some comments because I would like a little sip of tea. I'm going to have a what? sip of tea. I've got to go you get a sip of tea too. Uh, I'd like a sip of coffee. However, my cup runneth Run dry. <laughs> dry. <laughs> yes, dry. That's good. It's better than being wet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's debatable. I am... Oh. Must debatable. <laughs> That was actually pretty good. I'm going to let you have that Thank one. Thank you. <laughs> right. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, just having to scroll back. Um, right. Okay. So Alan is with us again. Um, Hello. Um, but he's still having his still having his problems, unfortunately. Oh, no, Alan. Alan, oh, Alan. I'm <laughs> so sorry. So um, Alan, will, Alan, you can catch up with us on... No, new year, new you. <laughs> No, catch up with us on YouTube or or Facebook or or you know I'm, I'm so sorry I don't know what we can yeah um, right Joe said oh Dinah I love Papa can you hear me beautiful dear um just stunning Barbara would be proud well I yes. hope so thank you very much um and Jane said tearing up here what a beautiful song uh, stunning Dinah Jean said I love Papa can you hear me beautifully done Dinah uh, Candace also said I have Papa so beautifully done Dinah more stars from Candace thank you, thank you. Oh, so much. Uh, Leslie said that's one of my favourite songs um, more stars from Jane wonderful Dinah just wonderful from, from Mikey Webster um, now Mr Ian Smythe let me just read his comment before I read it before out. Before you read it. <laughs> Censoring <laughs> comments now. We have to. censored. Oh, no, no, no. We're okay. We're okay. Um, Ian, said, Ian said, I hope this comment doesn't land me with a ban. <laughs> you see, that's why I thought mm -hmm. best, best read on before I, um, before I read it out. I said, uh, but I don't think I've heard um, Papa Can You Hear Me before. Oh, wow. Oh, Ian. Oh, no, that's Ian, okay. Ian. Oh, forget Letting that. the side down. I Ian, it's, it's fine. I, you know, kind of a lot of the Barbara Streisand stuff. Has, um, I've managed managed not to watch a lot of the Barbara Streisand, which is amazing, really, mm -hmm. being married to Dinah. Ian, I will forgive you, um, <laughs> but do listen to it. And listen to the whole, the whole soundtrack, actually, because A Piece of Sky is equally oh, as good. And the way he makes me feel is a really good... I watch the film. I'm, I'm assuming it's on probably Netflix or Amazon or I'm something. I'm sure it is somewhere. I think it's I've out there I've somewhere. I've got it on a DVD I've somewhere. got it on a DVD and a, a VHS. Now? A DVD. Oh, a you're VHS. so old. I, I was in rehearsals... Um, last week and I mentioned VHS to the they're young not children the, the young cast I was going to say children they're not children they are fully grown adults and they looked at me blankly I was like VHS you know like a video <laughs> you know like a video like before DVDs oh yeah I've heard of them <laughs> you've heard of them <laughs> If you still have, if you still have VHS, it's, it's worth looking through them and seeing what you've got because some of them are worth, worth are worth money. money. Yeah. So we managed to get a copy of Song of the South, yeah. which you can't can't get anywhere else. I think it's only available on on VHS, yeah. and I think they're starting to change hands for for slightly more money. And the original set of Twin Peaks videos, which are apparently worth money because they've got the introduction yeah. by the log lady for each each episode. So yeah, we so, geeks, we geeks, no, <laughs> we hoarders. <we're>, <laughs> That's the word they're looking for. Well, you know, one person's hoarding is another person's interesting collection. Is that all right? I think we should do comments. We're hoarders. 
um, beautiful song, beautiful song, Dinah. Um, Thank you. Um, and uh, so many memories. That's from Gene Cunnington. Um, against all odds, Mikey Webster got there. Um, Fifty uh, more stars from Jane. Thanks, oh, Jane. Thank you. Stunning both of you. That's from from Joe. Um, uh, again, definitely one for the album. That's from Barry oh, Tanner. Wow. This album is going to be long. long. It's going to be as long as this series. I is. know. But we haven't really pulled our finger out to we actually haven't. get round to doing it, have we? Because we actually don't get together until about midnight on a Saturday. <laughs> That's when we yes, see we should each put other some to time both. aside. We should record, dear. We should. I think um, it will have to go on the back burner until summer now, realistically. Um, yeah, because you're off on tour. Yeah. You're off on tour. I've got college stuff to to do for you the rest children. of the year. Uh, yeah, I got children, but they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> but we are still going to be here for the foreseeable future. Yes, on the uh, Sunday shows. Uh, Mikey Webster, excuse me. <coughs> Mikey Webster said, um, "I much prefer this to Pariah Scary and Devoid of Life's Attention." <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you very much. Version. <laughs> uh, beautiful from Serena May and Jane said, "This reminds me of splitting up um, with a long ago boyfriend." Oh. Beautifully, beautifully done. Both of you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Uh, Serena said, hang on a second. Serena said, I'm 17 and I know VHS. Yeah, you Thank are. You, you are my life. <laughs> oh, yes, but you. you're cultured, dear. Yes. <laughs> and Paul said, 8 track and beta max ranger. Do you know what, Paul? I don't remember 8 track particularly. Actually, I don't remember 8 track. But my I do remember beta max and my, my aunt used to have beta max thing. And I never understood why VHS won out because beta max was better quality and all, all that sort of stuff. But there we are. There we are. She doesn't know what that is. No, so, I have I've okay, heard so, of it. <laughs> I've heard of it. <laughs> smaller, smaller tapes and, and yeah, different quality. Um, so there we go. That's that's your comments. Um, I shall see you in a short while. You're now, I'm going to try. It's been about 20 years since I sang this song. I was feeling all brave. I went, oh, yeah, I know that one. That's famous last words. So we'll see how this goes. This was the nomination in 1996. I don't know what film this was from. I'll go and have a look. Oh. Yeah, go and have a look. Do I'll go know? and have a look. Was it, it wasn't Pearl Harbor, was it? No, no. Right. Too, too early for that. I will, I will go and have a look and I'll come back and let you know. But so, the uh, winner was You Must Love Me from Evita. Yeah, but you will know this song. And I'm going to try my best to sing it after 20 years. Here we go. Wish me luck. For all those times you stood by me For all the truth that you made me see For all the joy you brought to my life For all the wrong that you made right For every dream you made come true For all the love I found in you I'll be forever thankful, baby you're the one who held me up, never let me fall. You're the one who saw me through, through it all. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my voice when I couldn't speak. You were my eyes when I couldn't see. You saw the best there was in me Lifted me up when I couldn't reach You gave me faith cause you believed I'm everything I am because you love me You gave me wings and made me fly You touched my hands I could touch the sky I lost my faith You gave it back to me You said no star Was out of reach You stood by me And I stood tall I had your love I had it all I'm grateful For each day You gave me Maybe I don't know That much But I know much is true I was blessed because I was loved by you You were my strength when I was weak You were my voice when I couldn't speak You were my eyes when I couldn't see You saw the best there was 
because of me Lifted me up when I couldn't reach You gave me pain cause you believe I'm everything I am because you love me Oh, you are always there for me The tender wind that carried me A light in the dark Shining your love into my life You've been my inspiration Through the lies you are the truth My world is a better place Because of you You were my voice when I couldn't speak You were my eyes when I couldn't see You saw the best there was in me Lifted me up when I couldn't reach You gave me pain cause you believe I'm everything I am because you love me Because we're on the penultimate song, we had a little bit of a jingle there. Oh, I didn't know that was you happening. Didn't. I like surprising her. Um, <laughs> like with the whole set list on New Year's and Eve. And because the next two were winners. They were winners. Da, 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 da. However, I'm just going to skip <laughs> back a little bit because that was very good. Thank you. Very, very good. Um, you've got very clean riffs today, dear. Thank you, Loving dear. it. Very nice. Oh, thanks. Um, I like to pay her a compliment when I can. It's <laughs> not often. No. <laughs> Um, so this next song, this next song. So this is actually, well, let's start with, oh, I'm sorry. That's, that song was from Up Close and Personal. Ah, I've never seen that. No, I, neither have I, but it's got Robert Redford in it. So now I'm like, oh, I need to see that. <laughs> you, also need, you also need to watch Memphis Bell. Couldn't believe, yes. couldn't believe you haven't seen Memphis well, Bell. Memphis Bell, Memphis Bell is all he says. <laughs> <laughs> Do a swap, say Yendel, Memphis Bell. Okay. That is a deal. There you go. So this one was the winner of the Academy Award. That's correct. That right? In 1978. But we officially know it as Dinah's Drunk Karaoke <laughs> Song. <laughs> it is, yes. Yes. Because I add many, many words. As she does. <laughs> she adds more and more words and more and more riffs as and it goes on. more and more heads. Yeah. And dance <laughs> movements. But it is a classic song. Yes. So this wasn't, with the version we're going to do wasn't the version... That won the the award. I thought you were going to say, isn't the version you do at drunk <laughs> it's karaoke? Not, it's definitely not the version. Hopefully, that I do at karaoke. But uh, this is a cracking version. So we hope you enjoy it. This is Last Dance. <laughs> It's my last chance for romance tonight. I need you by me, beside me, to guide me. To hold me and to scold me Cause when I'm bad, I'm so, so 
Ladies and gents, what's our penultimate song? Penultimate song! I've got some crackling going on. In your head? Through the speaker. Is it coming through? As long as it's not coming through there, I can deal with it from here. No. Okay, that's fine. It's not. Can you... um, A wiggle a lead. Wiggle a lead. Hold (laughs) on. The last few comments from people. Okay. Stopped? Yeah. I think it's that lead. It is. It's not. It's misbehaving. (gasps) What we need is a new lead. We do need. The tip needs. jar's just down there. <laughs> it's pinned in all of our chats. Right. They're not wrong. We do need new We needs. need the leads. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. Campaign t-shirt. Right. Um, needs the leads. Um, absolutely beautiful, Becky. What a what a tune. Wow, you sang it brilliantly. Superb, Becky. Oh, um, thank that, you. that was from Maria, first of all, and then from, from Leslie. Thank Fantastically you. sung. Paul got there with um, Up Close and Personal. Well um, done. It took me a minute to realise he was talking <laughs> about the coin from yeah, and I, I thought he should be very forward there, Paul, aren't you? Um, a beautiful Becky from from Jean. Um, lots of rounds of applause from Barry from um, uh, from Jean. Uh, Jill May sent you some stars. Oh, rounds of applause from Maria Crispin and from Serena May. Jane said, um, "Oh, that would be something to see, Diana. Your drunken karaoke." Yes, it really is. <laughs> oh, it's a sight. Well, Jane, I've been with Diana when she's done drunk. What's drunken the other karaoke. one you do? Loving you. Yeah, Minnie Riberton. You don't. I do. She does. Do you go she, for the? She oh, goes all the. I do. She sings all the notes. When I've when had a couple drunk. of port and sherries, <laughs> port and lemons. Port and lemon. No, I don't. When I've had a couple of gins. I think I can sing all the notes. Well, you actually do, and I do. Yeah, it's like she's been on helium for that song. I, I mean, that's. Don't, but don't ask me to do it now because I literally could not do it. No, I wouldn't ask you to do it I couldn't do it whether I was drunk or sober, to be fair. Sing that song, I mean. Yeah. Other things I can do drunk or sober. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Carry on. My sister-in-law. 1978, a fantastic year. Great song. That's from Paul. Um, um, uh, Joe said, oh, Robert and I love this one. When it gets going, it's a real disco tune. It is. Um, What's the other one that's like that, that starts off? No More Tears. uh, No More Tears. Yeah, that's the one. I've done the Um, summer one. Fabulous set list I'm going to give you a ge- another geeky little uh, tidbit here. Go on, is No More Tears. Yes. The official title actually is Enough is Enough. Mm-hmm. They had to call it No More Tears. I know this one. Go on. Uh, because the theme of the album was water. Yes. The, the album was called Wet. Oh. So it was a Barbra Streisand <laughs> album called Wet. And what? so you they are... had to bracket it. <laughs> you just, parenthesis it. Just gift wrap that for no her, didn't you? No More Tears. Did you just say parentheses? Parenthesis. 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 Yeah. yeah. 
Um, no more tears. Yeah, so that that's... See, I have learned something. She, he in does the, listen. Uh, in the 13 or so years that we've been together. It's the one piece of information he remembers. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm not what, wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't we all love to see Dinah um, uh, Ripton singing this song? That's from Ca- from Candace. Honestly, Candace. Oh, maybe next New Year. I'll have to Didn't do you... Oh, next New Year. Oh, not be so far there was, off. There was Las Vegas. They know about Las Vegas. Um, and your your um, short yeah, you short <laughs> your short like your wedding in... when you say you weren't drunk and you were doing I... drop splits oh in your wedding dress. I was not drunk at my wedding. You were totally drunk at our wedding. Totally. I did do a jump split, but I would have done that sober, and I did do it sober because I was sober. Didn't you do? Did you do karaoke in Amsterdam as well when we were out in Amsterdam? I did. What did you do there? I was a little bit worse for wearing. No Amsterdam. more tears. It was no more tears, wasn't it? I was because she sings duets on her own too when she's <laughs> and drunk. I did do it on my. <laughs> Jane said, "Andrew, you really should watch Yentl. Such an excellent film. Well, I think that's probably on the um, on, this on the week's viewing. Yeah, or or even tonight." Joe Ooh. said, "This reminds me of the movie Selena with J Lo. Such uh, a great no, film. You need to see that. But I tragic mean, story. Yeah. Not seeing that. It's about the pop star Selena. It's a true story. If you haven't seen Selena, the film because there's a series as well. But watch the film. It's very very good. I'm not going to say anything apart from it was about." A real pop star called Selena, and if it hadn't been for her, and then J Lo playing her in the film, we probably wouldn't know J Lo in the capacity that we do now. Oh really? All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So it sort of made her career. Mm. All right then. Okay. Um, and uh, Martin says seventy eight was an amazing year. Makes me feel quite sad thinking about it and all the things and people I miss. Ah, but but great memories. Great oh. memories. Um, and Leslie but you've said, "You've got us. You've yeah. got us now." What more could anyone want? Eh? <laughs> Les- Ask for anything more. <laughs> Leslie said, uh, "Another brilliant show. Thank, um, uh, thank you all three. Um, and Maria said, "Dinah, Becky, Andrew. Ooh, such memories coming back to me. I'm swaying away here. Go, girls, go." Oh, oh thank good. You. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So we're doing musicals next. next we're doing musicals next, year, next week. week. So get your requests in. Yes. Uh, Kevin Miller said, "Hi, girls. Hello, Kevin. Hello. And, um, and uh, hi, Joseph, to his son." <laughs> <laughs> Don't often hear Joe called Joseph, do we? No. Um, and Jane said, another wonderful show. Thank you so much. Joe said, uh, I've witnessed a few drunk karaoke's from Diner over the years. Niagara comes to mind. in my name, guys. Niagara comes to mind. that's you doing that. <laughs> oh, I did Niagara as well. That was another But you've got, you've got a and Joseph I'll... story of, from Niagara, haven't you? When you went out and you heard the guy doing the... E, um, guy on the guitar doing a version of... Oh, yes, of... <laughs> I'm going to tell a Joe story. So we were in Niagara. We'd been doing karaoke all night and um, they were closing up and we, were, we weren't ready to finish. So the, we said, do you know anywhere else that we can go? They said, oh, there's an, um, an open mic sort of karaoke night at uh, Boston Pizza. So we got all got into cabs and drove down. And this Boston Pizza were in the, in the middle of... Um, like a working estate so there was nothing else open around it was one boston pizza just open in this like working estate we walked in it was very quiet there were probably 10 people can i just ask what's a working estate you know like a like a um, trading estate estate. oh like builders and like a build like a builder's merchants and you're thinking (laughs) it it wasn't like a in the middle of a strip in terms of lots of shops and bars and so we walk in it's very quiet and there's one man with a guitar it is not an open mic he is the entertainment for the evening. And it was very, very mellow. Didn't play anything that we knew. So we sort of had some drinks, had played some pool. And then he started playing Living on a Prayer. So we were like, oh, we know this one. When it gets to the chorus, we'll all sing along. Because no one in the bar was particularly helping this guy out. So we were like, right, we'll all sing along. And he's playing it. There were about eight of us. And seven of us realised when he got to the chorus that he was going to switch it up and turn it into more of an acoustic version. <laughs> Mr. Joseph Miller didn't realise this. So he stood up in the middle of a bar and went, Whoa, we have... The guy stopped playing. Everyone in the bar turned around and looked. And we had all stopped singing as well because we knew what was going to happen. So it was just Joe singing. Loud and proud, dear. Loud and proud. But you know what You know what guitarists like? They're generally quite yeah, they, serious, He literally aren't they? stopped you know, and was these... like... For about 30 seconds. And he should have gone with it. He should have gone with it. And Joe has just said, oh, that was the funniest moment in tour history of Spirit of the Dance. Uh, so embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to leave you with another. The winner yes. from 1987 
hmm, I'm pretty sure you're all going to know this one. And it kind of seemed like the right one to end the evening on. It does. We will be back with you next Sunday with for some musicals. musicals. So be safe, be happy. See you next week. See you week. soon. No, I've had the time of my life No, I never felt like this before Yes, I swear, it's the truth And I owe it all to you No, I've had the time of my life And I owe For so long, now I finally found someone to stand by me. We saw the writing on the wall as we felt this magical fantasy. Now, with passion in our eyes, there's no way we could disguise it secretly. So we take each other's hand, cause we seem to understand the urgency. Just remember, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. So I tell you something, this could be love. And I owe it all to you Hey baby With my body and soul I want you more than you'll ever know So we'll just let it go Don't be afraid to lose control Yes, I know what's on your mind when you say, stay with me tonight. And remember, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. So I tell you something, this could be love because I This is the bit where you all have to get up into you, on the floor, dance the night away. It's the truth, and I hope.